Hi, Ms. Artastic, and in this video art tutorial, we're going to be using a choice of either watercolor paints or temper paint cakes to create this lovely cat artwork that explores the principle of design, contrast, a principle of design that uses opposites to create strong focal points and artworks full of amazing visual interest. So grab those art making mediums and let's make some art. Alright, so we're going to be creating our contrast artwork and we're going to be doing our black cat against a very bright background. So we're going to use a permanent marker to draw with or if you don't have a permanent marker, you can use a black wax crayon or you could use black pencil crayon, something that's not going to bleed or blend when we add some water. Alright, so we're going to do our cat. So we're going to begin with a nice curving line for the top of cat's head. On either side, we're going to draw one triangle and another. We're going to connect the triangle with a nice curving line to make cat's head. Or so we're going to connect those two triangles with a curving line to make cat's head, just like that. Whoosh. Lovely little head. We're going to add a little tiny triangle in each ear for the inner ear. We're going to draw an upside down triangle in the center of the head for cat's nose. Right beside the triangle tips, we're going to draw two little dots with a little space between. And then we're going to take that dot and turn it into a circle. So we're going to go up, around, connect on one dot. Take that dot and make another line. Whoop, around, connect. We got two cat eyes. I'm going to make this a kind of a stunned cat. So I'm going to draw a small pupil in that one, leaving just a little bit of white. But in here, I'm going to do one big circle and leave just a little bit of white. Okay, from that upside down triangle or the nose, we're going to draw two lines down for cat's mouth. On either side of the eyes, we're going to draw two curvy lines to add some expression. All right, we're going to draw some paws. So we're going to draw two lines down below the head for paws. Notice I have a little space between. And the way I like to draw cat toes are with the letter C. So three letter C's on one side and three backwards letter C's on the other. And I'm going to take the top and bottoms and connect them right up and that will make a nice little foot. Isn't that cute? Connect the bottom of the feet with a straight line. One curving line down from the head to the legs or feet to make a body. We're gonna draw a curving line on either side of the body for the back leg. And then we're gonna make our back feet using the same letter C toes. So three letter C's, three letter C's, straight line to make a foot on top and bottom. If I'm going too fast, just hit pause and hit play when you're ready to join me. Okay, we're going to add a fluffy little belly, so I'm going to use curved lines to make a fluffy belly. And then I'm going to draw a cat's tail, so I'll have a nice curving line. And I'm going to bring it back down and connect to the body to have a cat's tail peeking out, just like that. Alright, and once I'm done, I'm going to add some shading. So I'm just going to add some hatching lines below cat to create just a bit of shading so cat doesn't look like it's floating in air. Beautiful. Okay, so once you're done, we are ready to paint. Okay, we're gonna grab a choice of paint. It could be either watercolor paints or temper paint cakes and a paintbrush and some water, that's all we need. And we're gonna begin by painting the background. So I'm gonna pick a nice bright color for the background and I'm gonna use a nice bright yellow. And we're gonna make it high contrast, so a nice bright yellow for the background or whatever bright color you want. And we're gonna just gently paint around the background, 
but we're not going to go near cats. I'm going to leave a little, I'm going to be in control of my paintbrush and I'm going to leave a little paper barrier between cat and my background color. So you see how I'm drawing that out? I'm going to go around cat. I'm going to leave that little paper barrier and that's going to prevent the paint that I'm going to paint cat with. It's going to prevent the black from going into my background color, which is my yellow. So I'm going to go around nice and carefully. Paint that in. Just a nice little line. So I know not to go any farther. Now, when we think about contrast, the principle of design contrast is opposites. Okay, so we're using opposites to create a focal point and place emphasis on our subject. In this case, our subject and focal point is cat. It's the biggest piece of uh, or biggest thing in our artwork. There's nothing else to compare it to, right? It's in the center, so it has emphasis on it. It's our focal point. It's in the center of our composition. It's the biggest thing. And it's going to be opposites. So we can do any sort of opposites to create contrast. So we can do big versus small, thick versus thin. Um, in this case, we're going to, to do a dark versus light. So dark versus light. We're going to paint cat black. And then we have a nice bright light color. So it'll be dark versus light to create emphasis and place emphasis on cat as being the thing we look at. And that's going to make cat our focal point in our artwork. The thing our audience is looking at, which is our focal point. Okay, so once that's done, I'm going to go around and add yellow around cat. Now you can choose to go right to the edge of your paper or you can do just a glow of your choice color around cat. And I'm going to choose to do just a nice little soft glow with my paint. And the paint's going to leave a beautiful texture when it starts drying into these lovely dark and light areas. And I think that's the magic of watercolor paints and I don't want to lose that. So I'm going to have this nice organic glow around the edge, just like that. Nice and soft. Okay. Now I'm going to paint cat. So I'm going to rotate my paint palette. I'm going to dip my brush in water. I'm going to swirl three times in my black. So I get black on my brush and now I'm going to carefully paint in cat just like this. I'm going to be careful. I'm going to paint around the eyes nice and carefully. I'm going to paint around the nose nice and carefully. I try to keep it in the lines the best that I can. Nice and carefully, of course. Just like that. And then as we paint it, you'll see we get all these lovely darks and lights even on cat. And that's what is so beautiful about using paint sometimes. So I'm gonna continue to paint using just black. I'm gonna go around the belly here. And then hopefully by the time I get to the nose and the ears, the paint will be a little bit more dry. So it's a little bit easier to paint without colors going all over. But don't worry, we're going to encourage it a little bit. Can't have just two colors in our art. We're gonna add something else. It's gonna be a little bit of magic. Okay, up the tail, up the tail. Beautiful. Okay, it's time to add some artist flavor. So we're gonna pick our choice dark colors. I want you to pick two choice dark colors. We're gonna swirl three times that choice dark colors. We're gonna add some spots. And we're gonna let those colors blend and bleed and they're going to slowly go outwards and move outwards on cat. Oops. Okay. So that's choice color one. Add some dots. I'm just letting the tip of my brush touch the paper and then the water and paint is going to do its own thing and turn into black, blue and all kinds of magic. Okay. That's choice color one. And I'm going to do green for choice color two. Nice dark color. So you could do maybe purple, green, whatever, brown, something dark whatever you think is a good color for your cat. We're gonna add those choice dots, with the second color onto cat. 
Make some new lovely colors and we'll let them paint do its thing. Okay, and finally, I'm gonna paint in the nose. With a nice little nose color, whatever color you think is a good color for the nose, you do you. Add a little bit to those ears. Okay, and just like that, our lovely artwork full of contrast is done. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so I can continue to make amazing art lessons for you. Oh yeah. Well, if you are an art educator or a teacher and you're looking for some cool art lessons for your classroom, no matter what kind of teacher you are, for any grade, check out the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store. There I have over 700 art lessons and of course it's always growing and transforming. So make sure you check it out frequently. But it's the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store and you're gonna find art lessons that are fully planned and easy to use. And you're gonna find some cool art activities to use for all the seasons all the holidays, and so much more. You're gonna find amazing art lessons that are integrating the seasons, the holidays, elements of art, principles of design, and art history, and so much more, my friends. It's a fabulous resource, so check it out. If you're looking for some awesome art ideas for your classroom, you can head on over to teacherspayteachers.com. In that search bar, just click it, and you can type in Ms. Artastic, same as this YouTube channel. There I am, you can click that, and that's gonna bring you to this page. And you can navigate it a variety of ways. You can go down, scroll, and see what's new. Um, these are usually my featured products that are usually brand new. Or if you go down to the side here, you're gonna find the categories of different things. You can click Artivity Books to find my art um, activity books that are fully integrated with the elements and principles. You can find artists and art history, art sub resources, back to school, Christmas, distance learning, and so much more principles of design. Here it's all organized for different themes or the holidays and seasons or types of learning, including sketchbooks and social emotional learning and all of the above. So make sure you check it out. Ms. Artastic on Teachers Pay Teachers and thank you so much for watching.